Well, this is a special time of year in the European footballing cycle. It's where it all begins again. The lifting of the trophy, the winners' medals. That was all back in May. A mere reminder, a relic of the glory that was and what may be to come, perhaps, for one of these. Well, this is the scene inside the 54,000 all-seater Johan Cruyff Arena, decked out in that hugely familiar livery of the club that the great man himself, Cruyff, represented. So here it is, what we've all been waiting for. Make sure you are strapped in and ready to go. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. There's the whistle, and here we go. Aimed in towards the centre. Tarat. Pitsy. Tries to get it forward quickly. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back here. Tadic. Hits one! And for a moment, time stood still. A chance that's created through very good grafting. Did well to get in the face of his opponent. Andre Almeida, Pitsy, Rafa Silva, Dick Swan in. That intervention was very necessary. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Tries a shot! Good first touch and almost as good a second. Ah, oh, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty pucks. Taliafico is charging up on the overlap. It is quite a run he's making here. Gets up to head it! The cross was inch perfect, and the header unerring. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had.
Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Done very well to intervene. Tarat. The Tongan drives it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Tarat. Pitsy. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Taliafico demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. How about a shot? Real chance! Tarapt with the clearance. Gorgeous control there. This is gone, that's a foul. So a chance here, what can they make of it? Ajax looking to widen the gap even further here. Hoists it forward, and it's Silva. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Out to the right. Pixie. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And he's cut it out. Tarat. And the counter is on. Benfica can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Benfica couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Shapes to shoot! Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and, and just get something in the way. Going for goal! He scored! And this is getting better and better. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Ajax can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. David Klassen. Tadic. He's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half-time. So the views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Ajax go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. The action has already resumed here. It's a decent ball. It's gone a long way up and away. Oh, 
that's nice. Played it early. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. And it's played forward. Gets into a dangerous position. Weigel. And here's Rafa Silva. Keeps everyone guessing. Now it's Rafa Silva. Room for a shot. Klaassen comes out on top in a really physical duel. Weigel. He's tried one. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, they're being made to force the issue, but they need to be patient and, and a little more composed. Now it's Klaus. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Keeper sends it forward. Now the cross. And he's there to clear it. Gets it back. Benfica have a free kick. Andre Almeida. Oh, that's neat. Played out to the right. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. And that's a throw. He's made sure that that won't get through. Rafa Silva. Weigel. Tries lifting it over. There's the shot! And in again. Is it in? Yes, it's an own goal. Oh, it's an unusual turn of events, and it was an honest attempt to help out, and I suppose it can happen to anyone. for a change in personnel. Benfica, some help from Lady Luck there, they all count. Tadic. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Ajax suddenly appear frail. Yes, from comfort zone to a stage of uncertainty, perhaps. And they can't drift into a carelessness, or, or this could get away from them. And it's Klaassen, tries to dink it in. Decent looking ball. And the 
shot! Really well taken goal! That was easy, almost too easy. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Well, that has changed the dynamic somewhat. Tarat. Across the field it goes. Rafa Silva. Gets it back. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. It has got through to him. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Plays it through. He's left his man. Cleared without complication. And that's been won straight back. Pitsy. to switch the play, and it's Silva. Vital has a pop! They've done it! With so little time left, grandstand finish! Benfica are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Benfica give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish. And here's Klaassen. Klaassen in with a header! Oh, not the best of headers. Oh, terrible pass. Gets the better of his man. He's come loose. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Blint. Battles to win it back. Crosses it. Massive leap! That is the end of it. They hung on right till the finish. Well, that's the way to launch the campaign. Now they can look ahead with confidence and comfort. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, they've laid down a marker with such a good opening win, and they're saying to the rest of the group, we're intent on staying at the top. On this evidence, I think there's every chance too.